Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to fix the problem when you try to install third-party applications onto your Mac computer and then when you try to open the app, it pop up a message saying the app cannot be open and you have to move the app to the trash, something like that. So I'm going to show you how to fix it today. So again, let me show you the problem here. So let's say I have this app, third-party app that I want to install onto my Mac computer. So I drag and drop it onto the applications folder and when I try to open it, double-click and this will pop up. This is the problem that you have when you try to install third-party applications. They say area is damaged and can't be opened. You should move it to the trash. You see there's no button to open it, only move to trash or cancel. Even though this app is working fine, but for security reason, Apple has blocked the third-party application from being able to open. So to fix that, usually there's only one step that you need to do to fix it, which is to go to terminal, just type in the terminal like that or you go to terminal right here whatever way you're comfortable with here terminal so you just type it in by typing command space to activate spotlight search type in terminal click enter so again usually we have to go to terminal to fix this problem and again like I said usually in the past you only need to go through one stage which is to type in the command and it will work this command is sudo space spctl space dash dash master dash disable so usually you only have to type this and it will work but for some mac users for some reason it doesn't work usually when you type this command you click enter let me ask you to type in the password and you type it in the password and it will show something like this when you enter it will show this which means it works but for some users, after they type in like that, type in the password, the admin password, instead of showing that it works, it shows something like this. It would say permission denied. The only way that it works, it will only show the line like this with the name of your computer and with this, nothing else. So if it happens to you, it doesn't work, you need to do one more step before you can actually type this command. So what you need to do is to type in another command, but that command, you cannot type it on this user. You have to activate it while you're on the recovery mode. It's like admin mode. You need to deactivate what we call system integrity protection or SIP. You can only deactivate that feature when you are in discovery mode. So to go to the discovery mode, what you have to do is click on Apple logo here. And then you click on restart. If you click on restart here, here on your keyboard, press on command and all keys simultaneously. Holding it until you see Apple logo popping up on your screen. And then you can release your fingers from the keys. So again, you go to Apple logo, click on restart, and click restart. So you have to wait for this. Right, it's black screen now. On your keyboard, press hold command and all keys. Keep holding them and waiting for Apple logo to show up. Still holding the two keys. Now Apple logo show up, release your fingers from the keys now and wait for it to boot up. It will boot into recovery mode. Okay, right there you can see it's now boot into recovery mode. This is what it looks like. It says restore from Time Machine, reinstall Mac OS Monterey, Safari and Disk Utility. And right here you can see there, what you have to do is click on Utilities, click on Terminal. And this will pop up, put it in the middle. So right now I make it bigger so that you can see. So what you type in here is CSR util space and then you type in disable. And then you click enter. You can see it says system integrity protection is off. Restart the machine for the changes to take place. So you just quit this and go up here, click on Apple logo, click on restart. It will restart the machine and it boot up to your user account again and you can start typing your command from there. Okay, now once you boot up, you have to go to terminal again 
command space terminal click enter so you type in the same command again because now your system integrity protection is off we can check the status here as well you can see the status here is disabled so which means it's now off you can type in the next command sudo space sp ctl space dash dash master dash disable now you click enter it asks you to type in your administrative password so type it in click enter and you're good to go so again if you have the problem of getting errors when you type in this command then you need to do like what i told you earlier you need to turn off system integrity protection first and type it in again it will work now if we try to open this app again, we just go right here, try to find it, right? Airy, open it again. Let's see what happened. Now, instead of saying moving to the trash, it say Airy is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So you have the option to cancel or open. There's no option to move to trash. So we click on open and it works. So now this app works. Now you have successfully fixed the problem of installing third-party application onto your Mac computer. And if you go to system preferences, we go to security and privacy. So before we type in the command, the feature saying allow apps downloaded from anywhere here does not exist. But after we type in that command, now they have the option saying anywhere, which means the third party application can be open. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can successfully fix the problem of installing third party application onto your Mac. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.